Hello everybody. How y'all doing? I am back. Welcome to my program. I just want to quickly share with you the word behold. The word behold is listed like 1300 times in the King James. And it means to be prepared. Be ready. Pay attention. Some say, it, it, some have even used the terminology of don't miss this. That word behold is very important. I want you to hold on to that now. I had uh, been asking the Lord for quite some time now. I've been receiving um, visions and dreams over the last actually couple of years about the end days. I've shared them all individually, probably a lot bef uh, before all these visions and dreams started happening. This is the way God does in me. He, he's given me things way, way many years before they happen. And um, so there's a lot. I won't share them today, but I'm going to share one thing today. That word behold, as I just shared, it more or less means pay attention. Uh, some translations by people will say, don't miss this. Okay. And the reason why I'm sharing this is that I've been asking the Lord about his time. When he's, if this is really it, if this is really the time. So I'm going to real quick share with you that I've only gotten this one other time, the same scripture, it was when I felt like I was on my deathbed and I had pneumonia and I had an allergic reaction to the medication and I felt like I was not going to make it. And yes, when you have an allergic reaction, it can kill you. So I, I did not, um, I got help that evening and I made it through. I immediately got off that medication and started taking the other. But before that happened, I got up, I crawled on my knees because I couldn't walk or anything. I was just gasping for breath and nobody was around. Um, at that point, I was very weak and very tired. And I was supposed to be sleeping. So my door was closed. My, my shades were all drawn. And everybody was in a, a far off room watching programs or doing something. My children, this is a while, this is many years ago when they were all still home. And so nobody knew what was going on with me. So I crawled on the floor. I couldn't reach anybody. I couldn't yell loud enough. I could hardly breathe. And I ended up on the floor and I was crying out to God and I was just asking for mercy and grace and to um, heal me. And um, he gave me this scripture. And this is the only time I really ever looked at this scripture. And, um, and this was many years ago. My kids were still teenagers. They're all middle-aged now. They're all like 40 Okay, and one of them is 50. Uh, so, you know, um, yes, I was a very young mother. I, um, I I think I must have got married when I was 12. So, <laughs> so anyway, I just want to real quick bypass that. But yes, I was very ill. And getting back to my little story, um, the Lord gave me the scripture, and it's in Jude, it was in Jude 5. And he says in there that because they did not believe, and you read it yourself, it's in Jude 5, because they did not believe, um, he took them. They were destroyed because they never believed God. And um, this is the reason why I'm saying this is that the Lord took me to the same scripture for now. And I was asking him, my prayer was, Lord, is this the time? Is this what we've been, because I've had many scriptures, I mean, many visions and dreams. I've had like at least five or six, maybe more. I haven't gone over them. They're in my book somewhere. I'll have to check them out and I'm going to share them with you. But um, today I just want to share that last, been about two weeks now that I asked him, I said, Lord, is this it? Is this the time? Because so many people are questioning it. And I wanted to heads up in my program and share with you what the Lord was telling me about this. Um, so I prayed and now remember, I have not looked at this scripture for years. I mean, I have, it, it was, I, I never look at it ever. I don't, I mean, it's been at least 20 years or something like that. And it's just one of those scriptures that I don't read often. So anyway, I did not remember it at all. And I was asking the Lord in prayer. I said, Lord, is this it? Is this the time? Everyone's talking about it. You've given me many dreams, many visions about the end days. Very, cur very sharp, very formative. 
right on the spot scriptures that it's there. We're there. We're there. We're there. And um, sorry, I'm holding up my phone today because I'm in a different position. Um, and this is what he where he brought me to. He took me right to that scripture, Jude 5. And I'm not going to read that to you because I just talked about it. That's Jude 5. You can look it up. And it talks about the unbelief. Many still do not believe he is is going to come very soon. I don't know what that is. It could be a month. could be a couple days. Some are saying during pre that's coming up, which is just a few days away. Some are saying, you know, different. I mean, all I'm saying is that we need to be ready. We need to keep our lamps filled. Our lamps filled means with oil. Years ago, they, that was pertaining to keeping your light going. In other words, our light is the Holy Spirit within us. And we need to keep our lamps filled. Those who do not know Jesus, you need to accept him or it's going to be too late. And he's warning his people. He's warning his people constantly. Many who have never been used of God, who have never given a word and are just young, just innocent people that never did this ever before are receiving. This is the um, the um, fulfillment of Joel 2 talking about uh, and 3. There. It's also good in there. But he talks about pouring out his spirit on these latter days that he would pour out his spirit on his young daughters and sons and the old men and old women. And they would have dreams and visions. And it, he was talking about that. And there's so many people giving words that never would have come up before. So I just wanted to share this with you. Be ready. Keep your lamps filled. And here's what the Lord told me. I'm going to read the rest of what he shared and um, it's a little dark in here. I'm sorry if I'm going to sound a little choppy because it's a little hard to see this. It goes on to say, And Enoch also, this is uh, verse 14 of Jude, And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, behold, that word, be ready, be prepared, be ready, be prepared, don't miss this. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these days, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints. Don't miss this, is what the Lord is saying with that word. Don't miss this. This is it. Don't miss this. I'm not going to miss it. Because as I said a minute ago, they're not in belief. They're in unbelief. And those are the ones that were destroyed. Those, I'm not saying God's going to destroy all of you that are in unbelief, but I'm going to say this. It is going to be really, really horrible, horrifying, a nightmare to live in tribulation. Demons are going to be released from this earth. Hell is going to be burning fire. Its fires of burning hell and flames are going to be going on all over this world. It is going to be so horrible to live. You'll want not to live. Receive Christ today. Receive Christ. He already paid the price. He paid for your sins on the cross. He did it all. He's pure love. He's pure love. He asks you to repent of your sins, change your life, give your life to him, and you'll be received. Just ask him into your heart. So I'm going to go on and read what it says. He has come to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed and all of their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have um, spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts and their speeches swelling words, having men's um, men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how they told you there should be mockers in the last days, who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These are those who separate themselves from, 
sensual. They are sensual, having not the spirit. So separate yourself from them. They are sensual and not of the spirit. And But ye, beloved, building up yourselves in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keeping yourselves in the love of Christ. That's what I'm begging you today. Keep yourself, give yourself to the Lord. Don't waste any more time. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Just ask him. And it goes on. You can read the rest of it. But this is what the Lord gave it to me, and he gave it to me twice. I asked him, and he gave it to me once, and I'd just been praying about it. I'm very particular when he gives me a word. It's different than a dream or a vision. It's real clear, and it's real. But this was a word he gave it to me. At, like I shared the whole story. But he gave it to me again today as I was asking him. And I'm telling you, I have been very burdened. Very, very burdened. I know that I know he's coming soon. I just know it. There's just He's going to make sure his people know and are prepared for his coming. There's no question. He's not going to leave us in the lurch. He's not going to leave us or forsake us. His word tells us that. And God is not a man that he would lie. The word tells us that as well. So God bless you today. I love you. I hope you take this word serious. Look it up yourself. Read it. Jude 5 was, don't be in unbelief, because those were destroyed. And that night that I was going through all, all these horrors of, I felt like I was not going to make it. I was worshiping God and singing worship songs about the blood of Jesus. I was in total belief of my healing. And I got word that I was on a medication that I was allergic to. That was my answer. And got, I got off that medication. And that evening I was already feeling bad, better. So just within like a couple, two hours, my whole situation changed. So I, don't, I didn't look at that scripture for years and years and years. I have it marked and even dated on my in my little old Bible, the little old one that I've had for so many years. <laughs> but when I asked him about a week and a half ago, are we there? He took me to the same scripture. And then today, I'd forgotten all about that. I've been, not forgotten, but I've been kind of putting that on the back burner, just praying about it and thinking about it, praying about it and thinking about it, because that was amazing to me that he would give me that same scripture about all these mockers and the end days and about his coming, it was a direct answer to my prayers. And he gave it to me twice. So I felt like it was time to share this with you all. Be ready. Behold, he is coming. Behold, he is coming. God bless you. I love you. We are all family here. Many of you are still not there. Please accept Jesus Christ. Don't waste any more time. We don't know when. Some say during Purim. Some say any moment. Some say we don't. We just don't know. But we got to keep our lamps filled. Keep your lamps filled with the oil of the Holy Spirit. We are the lights in this earth. I love you. God bless you. I hope you take heed. And behold, he cometh with 10,000 angels. I love you all.